Hi, I'm Nim. When I'm not on location filming with my husband, this is my favorite place to be. It's my backyard here in Washington State. In spring, the yard is explosion of new growth and surprising source of food. And this is one of my favorites, the stinking nettles. Before you pick it, you need to put the thick groves on. One of my favorites are fiddleheads and bracken fern. Bracken fern can be bitter, so I branched them in salt water and soaked them overnight. Big leaf maples are common in Washington. Mm. In spring, the flowers and new shoot are tender and sweet. They can be eaten right off the tree or used as a side of green. When the flower is not open, it's kind of bitter, but now it's open, you can just eat like this. Mm. By late May, false dandelions replace the real one. They look very similar, but the stalks can sprout more than one flower and the leaves are fuzzy like cat's ears. Every part of the plant is edible, from the roots to the flowers. I have only begun to discover just how many edibles are right here in my own backyard. I used to make dandelion tempura, it was so good. But this is my first time to make cat ears tempura. Looking good. It's pretty. Oh la la. And the sauce is just soy sauce, vinegar, and sesame oil. Mmm. Well, tempura, you know the taste. It's just like tempura. Mmm. It's good. That's a surprising amount of food growing all around us. But make sure you browse responsibly. Pick the right plant, stay away from pesticides, and be cautious if you have any allergies. But most of all, remember to get outside whenever you can. <laughs>